of the biggest benefits of the Core 36 bar or 40A bar is that you can use it as a cable attachment by anchoring both ends. They will give you the advantage to efficiently train your core musculature while standing on your feet. Okay, but it's more than that, and I'm gonna show what I mean. The setup is key. Your handprint is gonna be about slightly wider than shoulder width, keeping elbows about 90. You have a choice on your, on your footprint. I'm gonna show first in a, a split stance, okay? And we teach in our co courses in DVD, you know, the right setup here. So you, you're very stable and strong. But once you get the right grip, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull here with my left, push with my right. Back leg is gonna feel like it's going in a backward traction. From uh, back foot, it's gonna feel like it wants to go in a forward traction. All these forces cancel and everything comes down to the center, to your trunk muscle. Pretty much, I am emphasizing here muscle tension on the musculature around your trunk that have this, the muscle fiber are in a diagonal orientation, okay? So, and this is why we do it, okay? And notice the orbit here is horizontal, okay? I can change my footprint to athletic stand and perform the same movement, but notice how nimble I am and move my body sideways to allow fluidity of movement so my joints can work properly as I strengthen you know, or create muscle tension throughout my body. But everything comes down to your trunk and those muscles deep inside your trunk that you cannot even see, but are so critical when it comes to executing physical activities, either in athletics or tactical maneuvers or any type, any type of uh, daily activity. Now, another, another variation of the core bar attached to each waist stack is by changing the angles or the ankle point. I can raise this one, for instance, about my head, okay, height level, and then I can lower the other one somewhere between my hip and my knees. I can perform here now the same movement, but now I'm changing the orbit to a more diagonal pattern okay similar to a throw and as a strength coach I cannot imagine not doing this movement for athletes that throwing is a big component of the sport again we teach all the handprint footprint we teach also center of mass to give you a very stable position and then from here I'm going to pull push and perform and I'm going to Right now, I'm opening my hips and I'm gonna close it to perform this movement pattern. My front foot wants to go back. My back foot wants to go up, uh, forward. All these forces cancel and transfer right here to your core. But I'm also teaching con body control, coordination, proprioception, how to keep balance. We throw everything into the movement and not separate or try to fragment everything in separate phases before you do the actual workout, okay? Another variation from an overthrow is the underthrow. So right here, we, we work in the forward motion of throwing. Now here, I'm gonna work the reverse motion. I'm trying to achieve or seek athletic symmetry. So what I do, I stand, change my body position, facing that way. Now the right hand is gonna pull, left is gonna push, lower my center of mass. My hip right now, I coil, and then as I perform the movement, I uncoil my hips, open the hips, and reverse the movement. This is what we call reverse throw. And again, it doesn't do justice how much muscle tension with very little weight on each side I'm feeling here because we are using the concept of torque and torque is nothing else than force times distance. What that means, I create 
uh, desirable torque depending upon how I place my hand on the bar. If I place it close to the anchor point here, it's gonna feel easier. But the further out, it's gonna feel a lot harder, even though the weight's the same. Also with the distance of my body to the bar, if it's close to me, it's gonna feel a little easier. If I just make an adjustment and push it away from me, it's gonna feel a lot harder without even changing the weight on the stack. So now you have a better choice to incorporate rotation or orbit to strengthen the arc of a baseball, pitching throw, outfield throw, tennis swing, uh, grappling, when it comes to judo, wrestling, those hip throws. You know, any sport or activity that requires rotation, you can enhance, strengthen those movement patterns in the weight room you know, by just having simple tools like the core bars and use, you can use elastic bands. We rather use a waist stack, you know, because we have it available and it's more efficient.